Songo here with another video, this time featuring Path of Exile, a free-to-play title uh, in the vein of the old Diablo games. Or at least that was the original inspiration, so they claim. And considering it was the basically the only, uh, how to say, ARPG before this came out, more or less. Uh, I'm inclined to believe them. So, yeah. As you can see, uh, basically all that uh, an ARPG entails is doing s is casting spells or attacks, if you want to get technical, <clears throat> and killing things. So, yeah, just kind of uh, starting off in the, with our, uh, starting off running, starting the race, uh, there's some kind of saying, hitting the ground running, that's it. Uh, yes. So, let's explain my abilities, as I seem to neglect to do in all my Heroes of the Storm videos. Then again, I do kind of advertise to Heroes of the Storm the Heroes of the Storm community, on Reddit at least. So, I mean, they probably know, would you please, thank you, they probably know what my abilities are in Heroes of the Storm. So, anyway, uh, my main skill for this build is going to be Contagion. It's an area, and as you can see, it applies a dot to the target. And when, if and when they die, it applies the dot to an area around them again. So. And that's basically going to be the core of this build. Everything else is just going to be in support of it. So, uh, yes. So, uh, I'm not playing the brand new league, the Talisman League, because I don't find it particularly interesting. Uh, I've got no currency for this, so... Just popping it open. And strong boxes uh, have a good chance of having loot, though not good loot. And yeah, basically, they summon creatures around them to protect them and occasionally have additional spells. Or effects going on if you uh, if they are uh, any rarity higher than normal which normal is white magic is blue and rare is yellow I don't know where to go oh, that's a dead end so okay I'll head it down this way uh, and if you haven't guessed from my last couple of, well, I guess I did talk about it at relatively late in the video for the one that's most likely to come out before this, so. Uh, right, so. The amount of time I want to have each episode be is around 20 min 20 minutes. So, uh, I'll be taking breaks and cutting episodes at the 20 minute mark. Uh, unfortunately, I did not exactly take into consideration. Right, I'll leave that for later. Er, I didn't memorize when I actually started. 
So, <laughs> this will be awkward. I think it's only been like five minutes. So, at 5.15, I'll quit. So, if you look here, and I'm hoping you're looking at my video, this is the Path of Exile skill tree. There's a lot here, but once you actually know what everything is, it's really quite simplistic. If complex. So, uh, to discuss my build so far, uh, I headed up here for spell damage and cast speed, because that increases everything I have here. And this is just some mana, so I don't run out of mana. If you know anything about me in uh, Heroes of the Storm, you know I hate running out of mana. So, I'm taking 40% more, er, increased mana regeneration. So, what are the other abilities I have? Uh, well, on my middle mouse button is just a portal. I have a portal gem, which lets me, yeah, create a portal to go back to town. Can I not have but a moment's respite? Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard the uh Zion on uh cooldown complaint thing. Okay, this is just incredibly ineffective. Jesus Christ. Just gonna throw knives at them. That'll solve the problem. Okay, so, and my ethereal knives. It throws a bunch of knives. Good. Far too much baggage. Mm. Yeah, and I've currently got it linked up with a added lightning damage. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm not going through this very well. <laughs> uh, I hope some of you have already played Path of Exile. So, uh, how you get gems, or skills here, is by having gems equipped in your equipment. So, for instance, Wither, I have equipped here, which is getting bonus from Lifesprig. Okay, so yeah, that's how you get these. But if these are, you've got a support gem, if you look up at the text, it says support above the level, linked to a applicable spell, or ability, rather. It doesn't need to be a spell. It adds its effect to that spell. In this case, added lightning. So, now, instead of just doing 14 to 22 physical damage, it also does 2 to 6 lightning. Looks like we're heading to the boss. Uh, and I've got bear trap. It's a trap that roots things and deals damage if they walk on it. It was that. The bear trap was actually the very first trap in the entire game, I do believe. Okay, just bursting these barrels. Mm. And yeah, I won't go back to town to sell stuff, uh, at least on camera. So, yeah. I'll just leave that there. Mm. In which case, I'm probably just wanting to get rid of all of this. And the boss is right there. He doesn't mind us littering. And, yeah, just got to avoid his waves and his stitches grab and uh, all that stuff. So throwing out a couple bear traps to hopefully ensnare him as it Oh, that was close. And, yeah. See? 
that bear trap if it's... I think I dodged... I... Okay, that bear trap actually did not do anything. So, my basic plan here is to simply uh, run around and let my dot do the damage. Which should be your basic strategy on Hunara as well. <clears throat> uh, except, you know, with a little bit more auto-attacking. There aren't really any auto-attacks in this... Oh, wait. Yeah, there is. But, how do you say? Uh, you can't, you see this uh, move only? It's kind of critical, because if you don't have it, uh, well, you just click on something when you're trying to run away, and you die. It happens far too much in Heroes of the Storm. I wished they'd finally add move only features, but uh, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Yay, it's dead. Uh, yeah, Th compared to Heroes of the Storm, this game's kind of brain dead. And it's pretty easy to talk over it, <laughs> even while fighting bosses. Although I guess this is technically a mini boss. So it has a couple, it was one of the more recently updated mini bosses, or bosses in general, I guess. I wonder what I'm looking for. I don't know why I'm switching through the menu. <laughs> Even as I'm switching through them, I do not know. Uh, oh yes, my current level is 11 and this place is level 10, so I should be far gone by now. Looks like we are approaching 508. Okay, never mind. Still have seven minutes to do something. Oh, look, a mini boss. Which is actually one of the older ones. And has not received an update. So it basically does nothing. As most of this, the things in this game does. So I'm getting out of here, and on to a higher level area. Yeah, I stopped in the prison at level 10 because I want to show off the Brutus fight, since that's the first interesting thing in the game. About half an hour in or so, I'm not particularly racing, and I want to be level 10. So I can have my uh, contagion before, well, starting this video since this is, contagion is kind of what this build is built around. So yeah, I got a, I went ahead and completed a little bit of the boring stuff. Hmm. I really want to pick that up. It's the compulsive hoarder attitude I have. <laughs> and yeah, okay. Uh let's see, let's see. What am I talking about? Uh actually not a damn clue. Uh something about um ooh. Look, an exile. Or something. I uh, this is one of the, uh, rivals? No, that's not it. Uh, I still have not explained my right click. Hey. Uh, so, what these things are, are characters that use abilities that real characters can. Far too much baggage. <sighs> are you real? Uh, <laughs> so much loot just going to waste. Fine. Uh, uh, I'm coming back for it in four minutes. Screw you. <laughs> uh, 
Of course, this is when all the rares drop. Of course. Of course. Ooh. Okay. Um, yeah. <sighs> Would you guys get away? I just want your loot. Uh, yes. So, my right click is Wither. It's a completely pointless ability right now. Because all it does is amplify chaos damage. For a very brief amount of time, actually. 0.5 seconds. Of course, I can cast it in 0.25 seconds. But, yeah. At best, it's only gonna get me 14% 14, 14 damage taken. Which is effectively a multiplicative uh, modifier on the enemy. Since there's only one other thing that increases damage taken, and it does not affect chaos damage. So, looks like I leveled up. I am completely scatterbrained right now. I apologize greatly. So, what I'm doing is going to go up into the skill duration uh, node. Because increasing the duration of your damage over time effects increases the total amount of damage you do. Also might make this halfway usable at higher levels at least. When I've actually got more th things that actually synergize with it. Right now I've only got one chaos ability. And the next one unlocks at level 14. <clears throat> uh, and, uh, I, I am, I really should, like, set up, like, at least some sort of script or something. And so I know what I want to go over. So, the reason I call this the Life from Death, uh, build is because I use Life Sprig, at least for the early level, which regenerates some life each time we cast a spell, and uh, which means this can be cast four times a second, so in theory that's four times seven, uh, twenty-eight life per second added. In addition to whatever I'm spamming all of this stuff. And the death is because while I'm gaining life over time, they are taking damage over time. Also, um, the level 14 skill, that's... Uh, okay, gonna have to wrap this up soon. So, after I get this all flame, I'll do so. I'm just clearing out all the content or creatures here instead instead of just moving straight on to the objectives and what have you. I'm fr okay. Yeah. Oh look, the first rare monster of the series which has an invulnerability aura, which it gives to its allies. And so, just gonna throw down some traps, since that's basically my single target damage. Far too much baggage. And be done with it. Completely pointless to kill it, except for a little bit of uh, XP. But I'm over leveled for this area anyway, so no real point. Uh, yeah, basically. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, that was... I'm gonna have to drop something, aren't I? <sighs> oh, just rearrange it. Yay. <laughs> so, uh, that'll be that. And have a good day.